So I don't know if y'all know this, but like there's this really good pirate game, it's called Sea of Thieves. You try it sometime, you, you suit up, you get on your ship, you're a pirate, and you go out on an adventure. Recently, me and my girlfriend were out adventuring and such, and like some crazy shit happened. And I'm talking like hella crazy, so like bear with me for a moment, alright? Step one, we put on the Reaper's flag. You know why? Money, that's why. Reaper buys everything, so you get like money bonus on all the things. Make sense? Cool. We picked up a voyage of the... Uh, this one, the one where you find the lost ship, because money. Makes sense? Cool. I think there was like a bunch of stuff that happened here, so we got like a lot of loot. So then we had to go and sail the Reaper's hideout once we had a bunch of loot. But unfortunately, there was like this cloud, and you sail under it and ships attack you. And whatever, like it's just, it's just the AI ship, so we're not really bothered, right? But what we didn't know is that they were going to be really goddamn annoying, because we just got stunlocked all hell. We, we got hit with the curse ball that put our, our sail up, and then our sails got locked. And then I pulled them down and then they went up again, and then we got anchor balled, and then we got anchor balled again, and then I put the sail down only for them to hit us with the sail ball and it went back up, and then we got hit with a fucking sail ball again. <clears throat> One migraine later, and we arrive at Reaper's hideout and start selling, but uh oh. That's not good, you see that? That's someone on the map, they're coming to and kill us so like we, we ran so we ran away and then so did they so we went back to sell but then they came back so then we ran off again this is the part where i need to remind you all all right we may be reapers but we are not manly men we run away like the cowards we are when they come back the second time around we bail and we're heading off and then we get attacked by ghost ships but i make some like deja vu moves and then we're out of there deja vu, just been and then a meg shows up sweet Anyway, we got like really tired of this whole like hot and cold, yes and no, you're in and you're out, you're up and you're down, it's wrong when it's right, and it's black when it's white. You're hot when you're cold, yes then you're no, you're in then you're hot, you're hot then you're... Thing with the other Reaper, so eventually we just went to an outpost and sold, and then we fought a ghost sloop. Nice. Anyway, somewhere along this we found a new player and we felt like uh, maybe attacking him, because remember, we are not manly men, okay? New player? That's fine. Experienced Reaper? No, we're gonna run away from that. So we shot him a bit and I went over and I killed him, but then I realized he had no loot. And he was very, very new, so I felt bad. So I repaired his ship and we wished him the best and left him alone. See? Reapers can be friendly sometimes. Anyway, so that Reaper from, from earlier, the one that was really annoying us, he went and started doing like Fort of the Damned and we just made a beam line for a Reaper's chest. But then when we got to the chest, a Galleon approached and we like barely made it out alive. And then we went to the Reaper's hideout to sell the chest, and the Galleon went to go do the Red Fort, the Fort of Fortune, is that what it's called? I don't fucking know. So we, we sold the Reaper's chest, and then uh, a friend showed up, and after insisting about a hundred times that we form an alliance... We, we did, and then we went to take on the guys from earlier so we could do the Fort of Fortune. And it was at this point, at this point, at 260 hours of gameplay, I learnt that having your sails facing the wind is faster. Yo, I have a, I have a question, right? I want to ask you guys. Yeah? What is it? Does having your sails forward against the wind make you go faster? Uh, definitely. I suggest doing it. Round of applause for me. Anyway, some epic PvP and a trick shot later. Fort of the Fortune. We do the fort, the guy wants the Athena's loot, fine by me, I, I just want gold. Man, Dark Adventurous says expensive. And then like two other people show up and join the alliance and I swear one of them is like using some weird speech engine as if I've just like somehow run into the real life Arby and the Chief or something. And then we all agreed to go do the Ashen Lords and you know one like me getting f***ed up montage later. <laughs> I'm dead. 
Oh, so we're selling things at Reapers and it was at this point at like 261 hours of gameplay that I learned that you could basically do flag juggling but in like Sea of Thieves, which is pretty neat if you ask me. Get the skulls, get the flames, jingle jangle. Boom bop, Fort of the Damned. So we're doing the fort and it, this is like the smoothest fort I've ever done. I gotta say like this dude brought us in the alliance, like egg dude, going good. I also have to mention that like as a grade five reaper, I could see like anyone who had an emissary on the map, okay? That makes sense? Yep, cool. The thing was is that all of us were in an alliance. We we're in an alliance of like four ships, which I'd never really been in before. I, I'm, I'm scared of people, I don't know why. I'm, I'm not a manly man, makes sense? And I didn't think anyone else was on the map. So I was like, damn, this is like gonna be the safest fort ever. We're gonna do like three forts back to back. It's gonna be awesome. So we finished the first fort and we got the loot on our ship. Bravo. And dude goes off to sell, which I think is weird. Why don't we just do the second one? But then one of the dudes in our alliance just leaves, like like quits the game. And the other one leaves, but like not like leave the game leave, just like leave the alliance leave. And he's Reaper level five and he starts coming over here and oh dear God. And then this other guy shows up and he joins the alliance. Now we're back on two to three. And then the Reaper shows up and he wants to kill me specifically. So we run away and ask him if he's Gucci and, and Chief says, no. no. Now we probably could have fought this guy. It was three on one, but you have to remember, we have a ship full of loot and we are not manly men. So we run away and then like, somewhere in all this, we lead him back over to the fort and the egg dude from earlier who like started this whole alliance stuff takes on a galleon, the reaper's chasing us and told us that somewhere in all of this, a ghost sloop and galleon showed up as well. And uh, we left him alone. We could have helped him, but remember what I said. We are not manly men. We got back to reapers, we, we sold a bunch of loot and at this point, I need to say, I'm making mega dollar. I, I need like millions of gold. That Dark Adventure is said expensive. Somewhere in all this loot selling, some dude shows up and we get another epic trick shot and just kill them. Hell yeah. And then a uh, attack by a galleon, which I actually think was pretty funny because they chased us. And then I went over and I anchored them. And literally right after I anchored them, they just rage quit, which is... <laughs> so we sell and we made a friend and... And... Yeah, that's basically the end. See if this is a good game, you should play it. And this one, guy. Good job, babe. I'm gonna land right on the deck. There ain't kidding. One of them's just playing music. We got him. 